Is this a filter that makes your face look like a painting and makes the background blurry? Or does he just have like a grease smeared webcam? Okay. Total Biscuit reincarnated. So there's a video going around where a straight woman asks if straight men are not allowed in lesbian bars. And I think as a whole, this is a weird question because straight men, as a general rule, are not safe rule. people. And for who? Safe people? You're just going to drop that on me. I know there are a few exceptions. I'm a straight man. And a FEW EXCEPTIONS?! Straight men are dangerous, but not me, sweetie. You can trust me. That's insanely sus. That's dementedly sus. Saying that, I would have assumed he was gay. You can't be going... Straight men are overwhelmingly fucking dangerous and will just rape you if they even smell the slightest scent of your body odor. Oh, I'm good, though. There are like three or four of us who are safe on one of them. What the fuck is this? I would like to think that I'm an exception, but the way that I become an exception is in the eyes of each individual through my personal actions, not because... I it's called grooming? No, I'm kidding. Right, what he's saying is... He's having to, he's having to dance because... He has to do the Yas Queen, men are dangerous, straight men are dangerous thing. But of course, he's a straight man saying straight men are dangerous. So he has to go, not me, but you're right to be prejudiced and assume I'm dangerous. Right? He's saying it's right to assume we're all dangerous. But if you got to know me, you'd know. But the only way you can find out I'm not dangerous is, you know, I prove it to you. But then how do they get to know you in the, how does anyone get to know you in the first place if they assume you're a danger? I tell somebody I'm a safe space or a safe place or a nice guy because my actions speak for themselves. The reality. But you did tell us though. The reality about those spaces though is that those are safe spaces, and unless you are welcomed into that space specifically by someone who belongs in that space. Welcomed by someone who belongs in that space. It's down to whoever owns the venue. No, it's up to whoever owns the venue. In my in my humble opinion, venue owner's choice. Then you are Which I imagine will reflect the patrons, because if it if it doesn't, they're gonna lose all the patrons, but are not welcome in that. Oh whoa 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 Wildfang. Whoa 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 Wildfang says, sorry, a man going into a lesbian bar will be judged before he acts. Oh, hundred percent. Obviously. Like fucking obviously. I'm commenting on what this guy says. As a, as a general statement, because he was saying that, uh, he was saying men are dangerous before going into the, the context of men going into a lesbian bar or whatever, right? If you're a straight man, especially a straight white man like me, and there is a safe space, you enter with caution no matter- Oh, you're replying to him, okay. No matter what it is, because in so many ways, shapes and forms, so spaces are made to keep people safe from people who fall into your demographic. Hopefully this helps. I thought lesbian bars were so that you could assume everyone around you was a lesbian as well. I thought gay bars were because in the, in the rest of society, generally, you're good to go assuming people are straight. Because that's the absolute majority. In a, in a specifically gay setting, it's a place where you can assume if you're a dude, you can assume the other dudes are gay. If you're a chick, you can assume the other chicks are gay. I thought that w that makes sense to me. I didn't realize it was like a bunker of safety from pale skins. I didn't realize. Is, is that actually- is he right? Is that true? That it's not about having like a, a place for a minority sexuality to gather so you can assume all the other people around you are of the same sexuality? It's time to learn about lesbianism, I guess. Because cause now, now that I'm doing traveling, I like, I like cocktails, okay? Maybe they have special cocktails in lesbian bars. Maybe I want to go in a lesbian bar. I need to learn how to enter as a cis hetero white man. I need to learn, is it okay for me to go into these bars? All right, and, and what do I do once I'm in there? Greetings, guys, girls, and non-binary pals. And welcome back to another video. I am a little bit late 
to be making this video, uh, but that happens all the time. I am always late as I'm- True. You know what? I identify. I'm always late as hell. But it doesn't matter, because I feel like, don't be offended, you guys might not even count, okay? The people who watch my videos are boomer enough that I can be insanely late, and no one who watches my videos will have seen it. I'm sure you all know by now. <laughs> Uh, but what I want to talk about happened a few weeks ago on TikTok, and it okay. was like a whole thing. And even though it happened a few weeks ago, I'm- Is this the video of the guy we saw? Is it that guy talking about it? Because that guy sounded like he was talking about something else, right? Still seeing it now. Um, and that is some lesbian bar drama. Basically, a straight woman came onto TikTok and complained about an experience she had at a lesbian bar. A lot of queer women have already voiced their opinions on this. There have already okay. been videos made that- I didn't know this is what it was. Wait, this is cishet men in lesbian space. Oh, is this the woman who brought her male friends? So it's not really a direct experience of hers, unless it is, okay. There's been countless TikToks made about it, but I wanted to also sit down and talk about it and share my thoughts and have this conversation with you all because that's what I do here. So, yeah, before I get into that and tell you all about it and have this big dive, I would like to say thank you to today's patron of the day, Aaron. I appreciate you and your support so much. Thank you so much for joining and I hope that you enjoy this video. And if anyone else would like to become a patron, you go to patreon.com slash savvycat or click the top link in the description. It starts at as little as one pound a month and I appreciate it greatly. So basically- Go and support the queer Kiwi if you are learning from her. Go and support the queer Kiwi if you are if you are learning from her. The the patron of the day is the returning classic viewer who gave me a hundred fucking pounds in the form of two hundred Australian dollars. That's pretty sick. Basically, what has happened is that a few weeks back, this right. straight woman was invited to a lesbian bar by her lesbian friend, um, and they went together. Then during the night, she invited her cis het man friend to come to the bar and there was a negative reaction and she came onto TikTok to complain about it. <laughs> so I'll show you the TikTok and then we can get into it. Friday night, I went to my first okay. lesbian bar. I was you kind of have to be a moron to not expect that, right? It's kind of, kind of obvious. About to go home early, but then my friend who's a lesbian came over to the bar at the restaurant we were at and said, what is a lesbian bar? Unlucky Tofu? It's a bar for people who like seafood. I'm gonna go to this bar. Do you want to come? And I was like, absolutely. Why not? We got there and I was having so much fun. Everyone was so nice. The music was all like Renee rap and I was living my best life. Until one of our guy friends wanted to meet up with us and he comes into the bar for quite literally two minutes. Literally wanted to come in, say hello and leave. Girl okay, so we're talking about a guy coming in, saying hello and leaving. Assuming this is true, I feel like that's different. To having a dude who's gonna hang out. That can't be that rare. Coming- Look. Coming in to see a specific person and then leaving, I feel like is different to like going in, milling about, being there for an extended period of time. Just him pretty soon after he walks in and goes, what are you doing here? To be honest, I was a little taken aback because as a straight woman in a gay bar- But also, does the bar have a rule? If if it's if it's like explicitly formally a lesbian bar and is like chicks only, then yeah, of course people are like, what the fuck are you doing here? Bar and also a straight woman who goes to a a male gay bar, I've never felt like that before or been approached like that. The girl goes on to say like, I've been coming to this bar for ten years and blah blah blah. Basically, like my friend didn't belong there. Now I get it. It's a gay bar for women. Is is. Th is this just a random other person? Is this a random other patron? For women, but the amount of very obviously flamboyantly gay men that were in that bar that were not- Okay! Know that. If this is all true, then actually, yeah. If they're definitely okay with guys being in there, and they're approaching this one guy who was popping in for two minutes, just to say hi, on the basis that he didn't seem gay enough. Granted, he is a straight man. But if he wasn't doing anything wrong, yeah, that's just pre that's just prejudice. If if they otherwise would let him in and wouldn't have a problem, 
then yeah, I, I think given given all the details so far, if what she's saying is true, yeah, never mind. It's wild. And I'm just curious uh, your thoughts on this because I was like, I looked at her and I was nice until I wasn't. But the way she spoke to us. It's the, I'm gonna bet you dollars to donuts. The guys you have to be worried about are the ones who pretend over the top to be gay. Like as a group and I looked at her and I was like, he is with us, he's good. Like she was not having it. She did not want him in that bar at all and I get it, but like there's no rules against that. If this is true, that person's in the wrong. Straight up, if she targeted this guy and was okay with other guys, if this guy didn't do anything fucking weird, if otherwise guys are accepted and this guy was as well just there to talk to people he already knew to say hi and goodbye yeah actually i i side with this woman being like damn that's weird however this is a woman on tiktok so she's lying but hypothetically if everything she's saying is true actually yeah the person bitching him out in the wrong unless there are and i didn't see them but we left soon after because we had already been there for a while and he just literally came to say hello. But I'm just curious, like, are males, are straight males not allowed to go to a lesbian bar? I am genuinely curious. Like I said, this was my first time going to a lit- I wonder if the woman in this video is gonna be a coward. Let's find out, I guess. Lesbian bar. So please, it, like, enlighten me. I guess like, he's probably never gonna go back there again because it really wasn't worth the drama. But I just feel it was a little, dramatic the sure. entitlement that like drips off of this video is astounding honestly it's i didn't expect that entitlement to what not get bitched at by randoms if i was in a mood and i came up to you and was like what the fuck are you doing here you'd crumble into a ball if i went full autism shield and like decided to disregard any feelings of social norms or anything and went up to you and decided to bully you, you wouldn't be saying you having a problem with that is entitlement, okay? What's she gonna say they're entitled to? Not having some fucking weirdo come up to you at a bar? Like that's gonna happen, sure. But I do not believe that she'd say you're, anyone else is not entitled to have a fucking weirdo come, out, come up and bitch you out. I don't believe it. Let's see what she says. Maybe she'll convince us. Maybe she'll convince us. I shouldn't, I shouldn't pause Andy so hard. Maybe she'll have a good point and we'll go, oh yeah. It's quite impressive, the level of entitlement that exists in this video. The it's what? absolutely absurd to me that she doesn't understand, like, the problem here. And It's not absurd to me. If, if her friend was the only dude, I'd be like, yeah, it's a lesbian bar where only chicks go. I'd get that. I, d I genuinely don't get this is confused by the confrontation that happened um, and the upset that it caused. Because like, even if we take sexuality out of the conversation. If you do, it makes even less sense because there were other dudes that no one had a problem with. If you believe what TikTok lady said. Even if we removed that and we're just like, this is a woman's space because you know, she is a woman. So she should be able to understand that at least, right? If you take sexuality out of it, it's not a woman's space. If you believe what she said, she said there were a bunch of other dudes in there. Did you listen? To, did she listen to the TikTok? It's not a woman's space then. There were men there. Flamboyant acting men who she assumed were gay, who I presume she doesn't know were gay. But no, it wasn't a woman's only space. And she even said, as far as she's aware, there's no rules about it. And there were men there. And her friend was the only one approached. Presumably, and her, the TikTok lady's read on that was that it's because her friend wasn't flamboyant. You don't invite men into that space because it is a sanctuary away from men. That is but it's not. You've just made up. Now, the TikTok lady could have been making shit up. Highly likely a story on TikTok. This didn't actually happen at all. But if you accept what she's saying and, and just grant that's real there were a bunch of men there this isn't this isn't a response to what was said there's not a space for men to be yeah 
Um, and especially cis het men. Like she mentioned that there were some like flamboyant gay men. Yeah, so everything you just said is undone. That were there and like, why isn't that a problem? The previous thing you just said, including, included, if you take sexuality out of it, okay, do that, then it's a bunch, it's a space with a bunch of women and some men. Then it's not a woman's space. Now you're putting sexuality back in and now... The reason that isn't so much of a problem is one, if they were invited by like their sapphic friend, then they are allowed to be there just to- The guy was invited. Does she believe that this lady invited her straight friend against the wishes of her lesbian friend? Does she believe that the lesbian friend who invited her didn't co-sign on this guy being invited? Does you as a straight woman are allowed to be there. They aren't going to be going and like hitting on women and making women uncomfortable. They are there with their sapphic friend because they are both queer. They are in a queer space together and respecting that they are a guest in that queer space. If you accept what this lady is saying, she was invited to say hello for two, well, he was invited to say hello for two minutes and leave. If they are gay men who are going into a lesbian bar unaccompanied, then no, they shouldn't be there. I, I will say that gay men going into a lesbian bar by themselves, that shouldn't happen. They shouldn't. Cool. How do you check? How do you check? How did the person, granted, he is straight, how did the person bitching him out know that that isn't the scenario? Is the, is the, is the woman who complained psychic and knew that one, he's straight, and two, knew that he wasn't invited by a lesbian? Or were they prejudiced because he didn't have a limp fucking wrist flapping around or something? Regardless, you brought a man, a cis het man, into a safe space for queer women, where queer women feel safe because we don't have very many spaces, you know? They're How did him being straight make them feel unsafe? How did they know? How did they know to feel unsafe on the basis that he's straight and not inv invited by a lesbian. This doesn't make any sense. You can't just know. There are not many places where queer women feel welcome and accepted and safe. And so inviting a cishet man into one of those spaces is going to cause people to be a little bit on edge. And How? They don't know that. How does that cause them to be on edge, but a gay man doesn't? How do they have that knowledge? They don't. It's prejudice. A little bit They're right. They would be right to guess it, but they don't actually know. Uncomfortable because a lot of cis het men really like to go into these queer women spaces a and lot. take it upon themselves to hit on women and make women uncomfortable. And it right? Did he do it though? If he did that, kick him out. I wonder. Are there any are there any cishet men who pretend to be gay in those uh, spaces? Perhaps. Hmm. How would you know? It ruins the entire thing for everyone that it was created for. Like you say, I don't understand why she was upset. Like there's not a Sorry, why don't gay men ruin it? How do they Right. You can't read people's minds. You want a safe space for lesbians where there are no men. But you can feel safe if there's a gay man. But you don't know them. How do you know they're actually gay? How do you know they're straight? You don't. I don't know anything about the legality of that. I don't care. Particularly. But this reasoning requires knowledge. Actual knowledge of someone's sexual orientation. You can't have that. You don't have that. A rule that men can't be in there. Like, no, there isn't an official rule that men aren't allowed to go in. Like, straight men aren't allowed to go in. Okay, get fucked then. However, it's pretty, it's pretty heavily implied <laughs> that cishet men aren't welcome in these spaces. Like, legally, you cannot deny them entry. Right, and what problem did he cause? Like I keep saying, it would be better if it was, they were like, why is a dude here? Why is a dude here? But they're not just doing that. They're picking and choosing, I don't like the way this particular guy looks. At that point, it's not about it being a safe place. It's about being a space where you can enact prejudice. You can make an assumption about someone and uh, sling abuse at them based on that, which is pretty based and red-pilled, but 
If that's not what you're going for, maybe, maybe, maybe take a look at what's actually happening. Because he wasn't approached because he was straight. He was approached, or rather she was approached, because of an assumption someone made that he's straight. Because of an assumption someone made that he wasn't invited by a lesbian. Um, but it not because he was a man, even. It seems, it seems like a pretty obvious conclusion to draw to not bring those people into these spaces. And to make it even worse, this lesbian bar is one of only three in the entirety of New York. And it has a capacity of 75. Only 75 okay. people can go in there. And you took up one of those space with a cis het male friend to come say hi. That's good though. Wait, that's good. That's a positive. Because that means he says hi and leaves. That means he takes up the space for, if we're assuming what the TikTok said is true, literally 120 seconds. This also... Okay, you've convinced me. Gay men shouldn't be in there then, should they? If space is at a premium, why are you letting gay men in there if it's for lesbians? Just, just logistically. Which is bullshit, because he had to wait in line to get in there. I know there was a fucking line to get in there. He had to wait in line to get in there. There's no- She's really close. She's really close. This is a story on TikTok. Queer Kiwi, this is a story on TikTok. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. If you're gonna engage with it, pretend it's true. Don't start adding your own lore. I can't- I can't be dealing with people going, okay, I'll assume this is true, and now I'm gonna add my own lore. No, it's all bullshit. But we can engage with it as if it's true. No way he just went in to say hi. That's just- that didn't happen. Don't- why didn't anyone say anything to him in the line? If he was waiting in the line, then he'd be a straight man entering alone, right? That would be even worse, wouldn't it? True. Why didn't, why didn't he get checked at the door? Why? And I also would like to add in the part where she's like, I, as a straight woman, go to male gay bars all the time. Why isn't that a problem? Why am I allowed there when straight men aren't allowed into lesbian bars? I don't think straight women should be going to gay bars either. What if the people at the bar are fine with it though? Surely it's like a case by case. Surely it's a case by case. It's gonna be case by case for the vibe of the place or whatever, right? But the problem comes in if you're like, if they're like, some women are okay. Like imagine, imagine at a gay bar, the gay men are like, yeah, straight women can be here, but lesbians fuck off. Do you think she'd be okay with that? I'm not- I don't know. I'm not gonna assume what her response would be, I just think it would be interesting. <laughs> Whereas, if they're like, it's a- it's a place for gay men to be super gay, we don't want women around, because it's a boner killer. Whatever. I don't know why a woman would want to be there in that case. But if they let some kinds of women in, but not others, then doesn't become more questionable? Like if a lesbian bar lets some guys in, but not others, and is okay with them, doesn't that then start to become questionable, especially if it's on an assumption of their sexual orientation? Just because you are more accepted there than like straight men are at lesbian bars doesn't mean you should be there. I don't, I don't think you should be going into those spaces either. Straight people, you have all of the bars. All of the bars are your bars. Can you leave ours alone to us, please? <laughs> the amount of straight women that go into gay bars to feel safe away from straight men is quite astounding. There's quite a lot of them who do that and then will get like upset when they are hit on by queer women. And even if that's not you, even um, sweaty, unwanted sexual contact contact is always sexual harassment. You're a sex criminal to, uh, to do that. Okay, okay. Even if you just go to a gay bar just to feel safer away from straight men, now straight men have, like, caught on to that and know that straight women go there to escape being- Right, if she's saying what I think she's saying, this is demented. No, she's not saying- that straight men have learned that straight women go to lesbian bars, so they go to lesbian bars to hunt straight women. Yeah, there's no such thing as a straight bar. They're called inclusive bars. Lesbian, gay bars, segregated bars, other bars are uh, inclusive bars. Being hit on by straight men, so now gay bars are overrun by straight people who just 
are privileged enough to be able to take up all. Gay bars are overrun by straight people. So the so now we're also at the point where the majority of people in that bar were straight anyway. Is she going to say that and believe that all of the asserted men who were there before her friend in the original TikTok, they're just definitely all gay? If we're going to assert things about the fantasy story, if we're going to add more lore, why not add the lore that, hey, those gay men were probably straight as well? All of the spaces. Please just leave us something. All of the bars, all of the clubs, they belong to you already. Why do you- What does this mean? Belong to you? No? You need to come and take our stuff off of us. You have all of them. And if you feel unsafe there and it's like not enjoyable, I'm really sorry. Mm, if you feel unsafe in the lesbian bar, I'm really sorry. What does this mean? You're not going to convince anyone not to. What is this? Like that sucks, but that doesn't really give you the right to come into our safe spaces and make our safe spaces feel unsafe. No, they literally do have the right, though. If you're gonna, if you're gonna, like, how are you stopping them? If you've accepted, oh, you can't actually stop them because it's not illegal. Sorry, it's not legal to do that, or whatever. No, no, they do have the right to do that. You just don't want them to. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to, like, giga-chad this. You can't appeal to rights. And say, so you have no right to do this. No, you're gonna have to giga-chad it and be like, we're gonna hurt you. We're gonna physically stop you. Otherwise, this is nothing. What is... I'm not gonna go into a fucking lesbian bar, because I don't want to. That doesn't sound like a good time to me, really. But if I did want to, this isn't gonna convince anyone. If you think the people going to lesbian bars, the straight men going to lesbian bars, are predators hunting the straight women trying to hide from straight men, what does this do? You're not convincing them not to with this. Why being like, you think you have the- you don't have the right to do that. They don't care. Who are you talking to? I just really don't understand how, like, you as a woman have come into, like, this safe woman's space and felt the need to invite a man into it when you are already the guest in this space. Like, you have Ooh. been invited here by your queer friend. Who's presumably also signing off on the guy, right? To come into this space with her, and then you took it upon yourself to invite someone else. Like, you can't do that. You, as a guest, cannot invite another guest. That did, did the original TikTok say anything about her friend who invited her disapproving or not going along with it? What is this? That's not how being a guest works. This is not your space to invite someone into. I don't... Uh, rhyme. To me, this is entitlement, right? She's saying, oh, straights have all the bars anyway. I don't feel that when I'm at, if I'm at a bar, I have the right to invite someone because it's my bar. No, I can invite someone because it's a public, it's a public space, because it's a bar. That's why I can do it. I can't do that because it's my space. This to me is like entitlement. And then there's also- If you- if you're gonna talk about who has the right to invite someone, I'd probably put it more- even more restricted by that, uh, than that. I'd- I'd cut it back to just whoever owns the establishment has the right to do that. The fact that in this video she has made, she was not telling the whole oh, truth. Oh! Oh! Does she have- does she have true info? Does she have true info? Did this story actually happen? Oh! Maybe she's gonna lesbone. Maybe she's gonna lesbone this chick. Maybe she's gonna flip it. And she manipulated some facts to go in her favor. And the girl who came and confronted them um, and asked why this man was in there oh! has made a response video to this to explain what actually happened, which I will show you. Let's go, but now we have he said, she said you now what are you doing here to be honest i was a little taken aback because as a straight woman so that video is actually about me i'm that lesbian so i just wanted to provide some context on what happened uh from my perspective so i was at cubby hole been going to this bar for eight Kobe years hole. since i moved to new york i actually met my wife there um i was waiting in the bathroom line minding my own business and there was a dude standing in front of the bathroom um i tapped him on his shoulder i was like Excuse me, you know, you're kind of in the way, whatever. 
I was not trying oh. to start conflict, anything like that. Oh. He turns around. He seemed a little bit grumpy. So I was like, okay, dude, uh, are you even here with anyone? Like, what are you doing in this bar? Um, and he points to his friend. Okay. If this is true, if this is true, it does make it different somewhat because it means it's not on the basis of assumption of his sexuality and it would be him separated from his 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 chicks his harem circle lurk says yes it is if it's because she's assuming he's there alone because of where he is she could have made the same assumption of any of the men in there on the basis of them being alone, not on assumption of sexuality. However, no, he could have been um, in line. I, I presume if they legally can't exclude men, they must legally also have men's toilets. He could have been a gay guy. Yeah, but if, if the basis is that he doesn't seem like he's there with someone, she could have made the same assumption about any of the other men there. She's saying it was vibes-based. All right, I'm trying to be as, as, I'm trying to be good faith. Vosh taught me to be good faith, to be charitable, to be charitable. Mood-based discrimination, okay, rather than, it's still discriminatory on the idea that she wouldn't have asked someone who wasn't a man, right? But it's not on the same level as it was before, okay? She's, she's not treating, right. From this telling, she's not necessarily treating him differently to how she would treat any other man. Whereas in the other story, she's she would have been treating him differently to other men. This is layer one. Layer one prejudice instead of layer two prejudice. Layer one prejudice instead of layer two. It's pretty queer to me. Uh, not the girl who made that other video. And Seems pretty queer to me. And she's like, he's with me. I, I'm like, okay, cool. I turn around, okay. um, continue to wait in line, really had to pee. And um, then this guy comes to me and he goes, well, if I wasn't here with someone, would that be a problem? And I say, absolutely. Like, yes, it would be a problem. This guy, the girl in that Ooh. video, some other girls, they all jump at me and they're like. I didn't believe the first fucking story. And I don't believe this one either. I don't believe either of these are the fucking truth. What? Like, why would you say that? That's so messed up, blah, blah, blah. These people start coming at me and I'm just in the bathroom. I'm there celebrating a friend's birthday. I want literally nothing to do with straight people, which is why I'm in Kevin <laughs> in the first place. And you know, I'm just like, hey, okay, this is a queer bar. We don't have a lot of spaces. I've been coming to this bar for a long time. It's a special place for me. It's also a safe place for me. And I have seen a lot of cis straight guys come into this bar and cause problems like it's a known thing it happens at cubbyhole it happens at henrietta's it happens at stonewall there are straight dudes that come into these bars specifically because they're trying to pick up girls so I that's fucking stupid are you sure those aren't like special needs individuals they go to these bar this is fucking weird i can understand like a perv going to a lesbian bar I can't understand I'm going to go to a lesbian bar to pick someone up. What? I wasn't trying to instigate anything. I was just trying to like, hey, safety check. You know, they got on my face. I just wanted to pee. So I was just like, all right. Glad you're so safe in a women's space, right? <laughs> I love this. Like, I just want to be safe. But in this lesbian bar, all the women ganged up on me. <laughs> Hey, maybe this wouldn't have been happen happening if there were more men. I'm just going saying. to the bathroom. I go in there and I just try to de-escalate. I go back to my friend. There's more stuff that happens, but I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, I do think that if you're going into a queer space, you should be respectful of that. And you should keep in mind that there are very limited spaces, especially for lesbians and queer women. Okay, but like, was it full? Wait, this point would apply to all the men there. All the other men as well, right? Where we can feel safe, where we can go and... No, you know what? I take back my charitability. If you, you need to go around to every man and be like, are you here? You need to gay check the women they're with as well. You have to, you have to gay check everyone, okay? And it's, there's so, there's literally, 
the Lesbian Bar Project, if you've not heard about it, go look into it because there are so few spaces. And honestly, I'm not going to apologize for projecting, for pr protecting them. Um, uh, 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 oh no! I'm not going to apologize for projecting. Fair enough. That's ama- that's incredible. That's amazing. Um, yeah, I just get heated, but that's pretty much it. I'm Katie, and I'm that lesbian, and sorry, but actually not sorry. So, she- Right. Here's the thing, though. Ultimately, I'm gonna engage with it because it's fun to. I accept that something really happened. But even if you fully accept either of the scenarios, it's- it's- it's not really anything. It's fucking nothing. If this is if this is the difference between safety and danger for you, you don't really have problems. Okay. It is true. Hex, you are correct. It could be bullshit that she is the girl. It could not have happened. I bet. I want to believe there would be some kind of update because that first woman would definitely pop up and be like, no, she's a lying whore or something didn't even really confront him. She just saw this man there and was like, hey. She didn't really, she didn't even really confront him. She just tapped on his shoulder and was like, why are you here? Hey, um, why, why are you here? Are you with someone? Did someone invite That's a confrontation and challenge to his presence. No, she did. Invite you and then he responded aggressively he responded with oh am i not am i not allowed to be here without someone would that be a problem then like he did ultimately do that but you've cut out the part where he actually he actually acquiesced and confirmed confirmed he went okay that's who i'm with ma'am let me hand over my pass i will give you my queer friend as like a key card i'm i can be here yes like, yes, it would be, actually. Like, what are you doing here? Because of this, there were a few people who called her out, like, why did you assume he was a cis man? Like, how Yo, destroyed, destroyed. Let's go. Man, I miss Tumblr. How did you know he was a cis straight man in the first place? And I think that, like, that's a slightly, like, unreasonable question to ask, right? Like... Would you still say that? If he was trans, though, or if she was trans. Right, what if it was just like a really fucking ugly trans woman, though? Would it then still be unreasonable to ask them to uh, question themselves or not assume? I understand. Red Chimera, please. All trans women are beautiful. Okay. okay. That trans men are allowed in, like, lesbian spaces and, like, queer women spaces because... Hold up. What if they weren't a trans man? What if they were a trans woman, though? Because it's a state of mind. Yes, that's what you're supposed to go with, right? Like, I understand that trans men are allowed in, like, lesbian spaces and, like, queer women spaces because, you know, they also suffer from a lot of gender discrimination and might not feel safe in other spaces. And that's totally chill. I respect that. I understand that. But I still think that asking a man that you see... What if it wasn't a man, though? How did you know it was a man? You've missed... I think... You're, you're supposed to be like Tumblr incarnate, right? You've got the, you've got the like, mega, like, UKIP, uh, protect the white race, only two genders, brown and black people aren't gay flag. That's what that means, right? You've got, like, the mega, mega flag. And you're assuming that it must have been a man. That the, you're assuming that the person could tell it was a man. How did she know it was a man? In that it's a cliche, but the ideology hasn't changed. UKIP, yeah, Brian. Um, yellow with purple on it is UKIP. Space, like, why are you here? Is completely valid, and I think that trans men who understand why women may feel afraid and uncomfortable with a man there would understand that and be yeah but what if it was a trans woman what if it w what if that was a trans woman who for whatever reason couldn't even change their appearance in any way maybe because of the people around them and let's say let's say they were a, a trans woman in an unaccepting 
environment where the only place they can be a trans woman is at the bar. So they can't make themselves look feminine. So essentially by challenging them as a man, you're just saying to a trans woman, they're fucking ugly to the point where they just absolutely must be just a man. What if that had occurred? And that will occur if you say it's okay to assume, right? Sympathetic to that and not respond with aggression. So I feel like just responding with aggression kind of solidifies the fact that this is a says hat man. Like the entitlement, the- You can tell someone's gender by how they behave. Wait, she's like a biological essentialist? How is she- wait, how is she even having that flag? She's MAGA red pill. The arrogance and the aggression in that response really solidifies that this is not his space, but he feels like he deserves to be in it. You know what I mean? I am sure that if you approached Whoa. a trans man and asked that, they would respond in a much gentler way. Either, you know. <laughs> what, because they're not really a man? Is that what you d Is that the implication? I know he's a cis man because he acts like this. If it was a trans man, they'd be more feminine? Is that what you're fucking saying? You can Holy fuck, I would be banned. What the fuck? How do you get away with this? Do you just have to have rainbow shit? Like rainbow fucking tassels and you get, a you get away with this? Oh, saying that they are trans because they're in a space where it is like safe to say that. Or by just being like, hey, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm with those people over there. In a space where it's safe to say you're trans. But if they were, it wouldn't be a safe place to say that, would it? Because people like you would assume that they're being dishonest because they didn't behave the correct way, right? What if they were aggressive and a trans man? You would assert that they're not, so it would then not be safe, safe for them to say they're trans. So it's not actually true. Please don't mind me. It's not going to be an aggressive response. And I also imagine that a lot of trans men would feel like quite, you know, elated almost that they pass well Don't. enough to be mistaken for a cis man in a lesbian. <laughs> you should be, you should be honored that we tried to kick you out for being trans. Okay, essentially. In bar. You know what I mean? Like, they're not going to respond with aggression. And I think that really answers the question and think that that makes Cis men, cis men behave like this. Trans men behave like that. Uh oh, what are you suggesting? What does that mean? Makes it unfair that people are being like, well, how did you know? Why did you assume? Like, she didn't. She just asked a man why he was there and he responded. Yeah, but what if it was a trans woman who just didn't present outwardly, femininely? Isn't this the rule you want it? It's a safe space for women. Does that include trans women who don't? Perhaps you want a hypothetical doesn't have the opportunity to make themselves present femininely and just getting into that club, that bar, is really important for them because anywhere else they can't get away with being themselves, which means they don't have the opportunity to doll themselves up or whatever. How about that? You think that's never happened? Ooh, why risk it if it's meant to be a safe space? Funded aggressively, so it kind of answered the question for itself. <laughs> And then I find it so funny, the contradiction here of like, the girl in the original video said that he was coming in to say mm. hi and then leave, which we already knew was bullshit because he waited in line to get into this bar and steals a queer woman's Did spot he? in this very small bar. But anyway, she came out and saw him at a table chatting. Well, like rip someone out? Was it at capacity at that point? I don't know. With these two women, so... What if there wasn't a, like what time of night is there always instantly a line? What's the turnover like? How did he get in slowly? Why are the other men not stealing a queer woman's spot? The men who were already there. What if a man who was there before him left and he went in? Is the person who had that spot previously not stealing a queer woman's spot, but then he is even though it's the same spot and they're both men or what? How does that work? What's the maths? doesn't really seem like coming and saying hi and then leaving. That seems like coming in for a drink and hanging out there for a- No one mentioned a drink. I don't think anyone mentioned a drink. If he did have to wait in line, that might line up with him having to pee as well. 
It would only be weird that he was needed to pee if there wasn't a line. But if you believe both that he had to line up and that he had to pee, that might make more sense, right? Time continuing to take that space from a queer woman and also probably making a lot of the queer women around feel a little bit uncomfortable. We're back to the original issue. There were other men in there. Why no problem with them? If the issue is a man being around making them uncomfortable, surely all the men must. You know, like you've come into our space and feel like you deserve to be there. And then on top of that, this straight woman insults her and calls her a bitch purely for just asking why he was there. <laughs> Which is a- Allegedly. Completely valid thing to say. It's a completely valid thing to ask. Regardless of whether right. a cis hit man is invited in by a queer friend or not, doesn't really matter. I don't think he should be there. And I think that queer women shouldn't be inviting their cis hit male friends into these spaces. I just don't. Right. Again, what's the test? I believe she was cool with, with gay or queer men being invited by lesbians. What's the test? don't think that that's a cool thing to do. <laughs> it's just not on. And like she says, she's seen a lot of problems started and like caused because of this happening. Because yeah, you know, cishet men have a feeling of entitlement. They, a lot of the time, straight men in these spaces will go and- Why is anyone entitled to a space for them that they don't own, that doesn't have specific rules for that? Even if you think you deserve it, that's what entitlement is. You think you're entitled to have such a space at all. Even if other people have these spaces and you don't, so you think you should have it, that's still entitlement. Try to hit on queer women because one, they know like bisexual, pansexual, etc. women exist. And two, they like to think they can like turn women. So they go and they make women uncomfortable. They don't leave women alone and they start fights and they ruin I mean, in this scenario, that guy was trying his hardest to leave women alone, and they couldn't get enough of him. He was waiting to take a piss, and she, she couldn't stay awake. Literally couldn't keep her hands off him. She touched him, she says. Literally couldn't keep her hands off a man. So, you know what? I thought it was silly for men to go to lesbian bars. I've been convinced by this video that it's not. In this safe space, for people, and there are a lot of queer women who no longer go to these places because they have been made to feel unsafe by people who shouldn't be there being in there. And it's just really, really sad, you know? It's meant to be a place for community and for safety. And then some people just feel like they are entitled to that space and take it away when they literally have all the other spaces. As a straight person. You can go literally anywhere. You can go any Okay, then I can go to the lesbian bar. Anywhere. You can go to any bar. Especially as a cishet man. You can go to- Wait, what bar can I go to that you can't? You can go to more than me. If I can't go to a lesbian bar, then actually you're the one who can go to all of them. And I'm the only one who can't. Any bar and feel safe. And yet- <laughs> And feel safe. Feel safe. That's a matter of personal mindset, though. Um, there are bars where I'll feel safe. There are bars where I won't fucking... There are fucked up bars, dude. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Um, yeah, depends, really. Depends time of night. <laughs> and yet, you stood in that line, surrounded by queer nonsense. Oh, good emperor. Good emperor in YouTube chat says, I personally, as a man, would not recommend going into a lesbian bar. Yeah. Um, to be clear, if you want to have your lesbian bar that's just lesbians, okay, I'm not going to go in there. Personally, um, doesn't appeal to me even. The only reason I'd go want to go to a lesbian bar is if they have, like, sick drinks. I would want to go for that. But otherwise, I don't, I'm not particularly in the business of, in real life. Online, yes, but in real life, going places people don't want me. I don't do that. This man, right? If only you could do the same. You stood in that line around all those people and waited to get in and you never once thought like, maybe this is a bad idea. Oh God, I'm surrounded by queers. Better get out of here. 
maybe I shouldn't be here. Maybe these people behind me deserve to go into this bar more than I do. That didn't even cross his mind. He just was- Deserve to go into a bar. I don't know, this seems just fucking like Dementoid mindset. I can't take this language that seriously. I'm trying. I'm really trying. I was like, yeah, no, this is, yeah, this seems right. I should go here. This makes sense. Like, how, 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 how do you think that that's an appropriate thing to do? It's just wild to me. The lack of sort of like understanding and compassion, like the complete disregard for why these spaces are important. It's so funny to me because she as a straight woman felt entitled enough in this space to be able to invite her cishet male friend into this woman only space. And then- It's not a woman only space. You've gone back to calling it a woman only space having said it's fine for men to be there. On the condition that they're not straight and they're invited by a lesbian. So it's not a woman's space. And it kind of under the guise of like, he's my friend. So like, you know, he's not going to hurt anyone or make anyone uncomfortable because he's my friend. And I personally know him and know that he's a good person. Um, when firstly, he went in and pretty much immediately started a fight with someone. Supposedly. Even if he did that, is that starting a fight? Is that him starting a fight? My memory of what alleged, alleged uh, interloper said was that it was mainly the women who went off on her. So like not well. even true. <laughs> and then you like took his side in that fight. So you also were, you know, not respecting the space you were in, not just by inviting a man into it, but by- We've been told it's fine to invite a man into it. The problem is, she wasn't gay. By not understanding why someone was upset about it. Like, you were a guest in this space and you violated like every rule. Every rule. rule. And the fact that you came onto TikTok and were like, I don't get it. Can you tell me why it's bad to bring a cishet man into a lesbian bar? Like. If you accept the lady's story as being the true account, then I don't think you address it properly. Still. Why do you need to ask why that's bad? Surely you, surely you know. Surely you can piece it together in your head why that might not be a good idea and why the- She could, but then she saw there were a bunch of other guys there. The people there were upset. And like, I'm sure more people would confront you about it if they weren't afraid of confrontation with a cishet man. They're not scared of confrontation with a gay man? I d is that what's being implied? Hexadian's a gay man and he'd kill all those women. 100%. 100%. They should be more scared of gay people. You know? Like, I'm sure more people were looking at you. People probably were leaving. People just didn't feel comfortable now that you'd brought this person in there. And, like, they just didn't tell you because it's not worth getting in a fight, which is obviously what would happen when someone asks. And it's so frustrating that these people can just like overlook any issue and not take any accountability. Like she has received like thousands upon thousands of comments and like stitches and replies okay. and everything. And she's not mentioned it once. Like she's left the video up, but she has not made an apology. She has Either of them could be lying though. Both of these could be false. One of them could be true. Both of them could be half true. I don't know. Honestly, with how mild this shit is, I don't think it matters. Has not made any follow-ups to this. Like she in this video asked a question of, is this wrong? If you apologize publicly for complaining in a bar. Also, this woman didn't identify who the woman was. This chick identified herself. You don't need to apologize to Anons, even if they identify themselves. Unless you make unless you make them identifiable, like you don't name them, but you provide enough detail that everyone knows who they are, and like it, it's easily findable, which I don't believe she did. If you refer to a scenario and keep the people Anon, and then a person chooses to identify themselves, fuck that. You don't have to apologize, even if you were fucking lying. Tell me, give me your input. I want to know. And then because it obviously didn't go in her favor, she's just ignored it. 
but she's kept the video up because I'm assuming she's on the creator fund and is probably getting money from based. this video that has based over one and a half million views, which is nice. Something else entirely. Honestly, I feel like that adds a whole new layer to the whole thing. Yeah, this video has been a bit of a mess. I had notes and then I just got kind of- I support women making money, even if they're straight. I said it. Sidetracked and went all over the place. My brain is fried today. I am not in my best mental health right now, but I am trying my best. <laughs> the mental health force field has gone up. The mental health force field has gone up. I'm retarded, you can't laugh at me. I'm retarded, you can't laugh at me. Woo 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 woo. Yeah, let me know your thoughts on this whole thing. Um, I think that we should keep, you know, spaces for queer people to being for queer people, especially when it comes to gender minorities. I Are women a gender minority? Is she doing the power minority meme? Right. I think that we need this space for trans men, non-binary people, and women. We need... Right, so it's gone from a women's space to an anyone who isn't straight man space. What would you fuck... It? So she's appealed to just being able to tell someone's a cis man by their behavior. What if he said he's non-binary? What do you do then? And what if you start getting tons of men, sorry, tons of non-binary people who seem very obviously to simply be saying they are? How do you, how do you deal with that? And if there are really nasty, nasty cis men infiltrating, why wouldn't they lie? Why wouldn't they say, I'm non-binary? Then how do you test that? I feel like you get into unpleasant territory. Spaces, and we need straight people to stop taking them away from us. Yeah, so let me know your thoughts. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to my Sprout and Above patrons, whose names are up on the screen right now. And a huge, huge thank you to my Kiwi. I like that we never, like, even the person who said, I'm the one who complained. I don't think she mentioned anything about him not leaving straight after. What if all of this is over, like, a dude being in there for literally, like, two minutes trying to take a piss and leaving? Cat patrons. Bobby, Josh, Mandy, Ikazel, Jessica, Eldo, Danielle, Raven, Elias, Chris. And he didn't talk to anyone. Okay, guys, go subscribe to her Patreon. Cat. I'll click the top link in the description for as little as one pound a month. Give her at videos, least five hundred dollars a month, and up you get things such as outtakes, bonus mini podcasts, live streams, vlogs, and more. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, the Queer Kiwi, and Twitter, that Queer Kiwi. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. The Queer Kiwi. Stay safe. Keep fighting. I love you. Oh yeah, she's from New Zealand, otherwise known as Shit Crazy. Fake Australia. I think it'll be based if she was just like it's a lesbian bar. I want maximized pussy, minimized dicks, or whatever. That would have been based on being like, fair. She could have been like, I just want maximized puss. Men leave. Fuck off. I don't care if you were upset. That would have been based. I feel like I want to see just like two seconds of this. Just to see if she talks about liking watching Bluey. I'm just watching this for a sec to see if she's a Bluey fan. Because I'm, I'm genuinely fascinated by the number of people who make um, sensitivity content. Is that how you should describe it? Like, sensitivity content. Who are like, I'm genuinely into Bluey. Today I wanted to talk about it because I sat down and I watched pretty much the entire show because I love Bluey. There it I fucking is! I am a Bluey enjoyer. I have watched the entirety of Bluey several times. I Every fucking time. Day. Every so fucking out, single time. Out watching Bluey. If I don't know what to watch, if I'm feeling sad, if I just need something easy, I watch Bluey. This morning, Kat was- I'm gonna admit, I didn't expect it to be to this degree, but every single fucking time.